Screening for preeclampsia at 11 to 13 weeks gestation by a combination of maternal demographic characteristics and medical history with measurements of mean arterial pressure, uterine artery pulsatility index, and serum placental growth factor can identify about 90% of women that develop early preeclampsia with delivery before 32 weeks gestation. 75% of those with preterm preeclampsia before 37 weeks and 45% with term preeclampsia at a screen positive rate of 10%. A major multicenter study, ASPRE trial, demonstrated that in women with singleton pregnancies identified by combined screening as being at high risk for preterm preeclampsia, prophylactic use of aspirin in a dosage of 150 mg per day from 11 to 14 until 36 weeks gestation compared to placebo, reduced the incidence of early preeclampsia by 89% and preterm preeclampsia by 62%, but had no significant effect on incidence of term preeclampsia. A recent screening study in seven National Health Service maternity hospitals in England reported that the performance of screening for preeclampsia provided by a combination of maternal factors and mean arterial pressure, uterine artery PI, and PLGF at 11 to 13 weeks gestation is by far superior to that achieved by current NICE guidelines. It could be expected that first trimester combined screening for preterm preeclampsia would also identify a high proportion of SGA neonates, and the prophylactic use of aspirin reduces the incidence of early and preterm SGA. In this study, the authors used the data from SPREE and ASPRI to examine the effect of first trimester screening for preeclampsia and the effect of prophylactic use of aspirin on the prevention of SGA. The data for this study were derived from two multicenter studies. In SPREE, the authors investigated the performance of screening for preeclampsia by a combination of maternal characteristics and biomarkers at 11 to 13 weeks gestation. In ASPRI, women with singleton pregnancies, identified by combined screening as being at high risk for preterm PE, participated in a trial of comparing the effect of aspirin compared to a placebo. In the present study, the authors used the data from SPREE trial to estimate the effect of aspirin on the incidence of SGA. They also used the data from SPREE to estimate the proportion of SGA in the pregnancies with the risk of preterm preeclampsia. In SPREE, screening for preterm preeclampsia by a combination of maternal factors, mean arterial pressure, uterine artery PI, and serum PLGF identified a high-risk group that contained about 46% of SGA neonates, less than the 10th percentile born before 37 weeks gestation, and 56% of those born before 32 weeks. The overall screen positive rate was 12.2%. The use of aspirin reduced the overall incidence of SGA, less than the 10th percentile, by about 40% in babies born before 37 weeks gestation, and by about 73% in babies born before 32 weeks. In babies born at or after 37 weeks, aspirin did not have a significant effect on incidence of SGA. The aspirin-related decrease in incidence of SGA was mainly due to a decrease in the pregnancies with preeclampsia, where the decrease was about 70% in babies born before 37 weeks gestation and about 90% in babies born before 32 weeks. On the basis of these results, it was estimated that first trimester screening for preterm preeclampsia and use of aspirin in the high-risk group would potentially reduce the risk of preterm SGA and early SGA by about 20 and 40% respectively. Conclusions First trimester screening for preeclampsia by the combined test identifies a high proportion of cases of preterm SDA that can be prevented by prophylactic use of aspirin.